Kavango Resources is hunting for Norel-style deposits in the underexplored Kalahari Suture Zone in Botswana. But what are Norel-style deposits and how do they form? Located in northern Russia, Norelsk is one of the world's largest and most profitable mines. It has some of the largest concentrations of copper, nickel, and PGMs found anywhere on the planet worth tens of billions of dollars. Mining has continued continuously at Norelsk since the 1920s, and Kavango believes the region shares a number of important geological similarities with the Kalahari Suture Zone. The incredible success at Norelsk was down to the discovery of what are known as magmatic sulfides. Magmatic sulfides formed tens of millions of years ago. Magma rose to the surface through a series of vertical dikes and horizontal sills. The magma contains small amounts of metals. If the magma passed through sulfur-bearing rocks, such as coal or coaly shale, the magma would pick up the sulfur, which would then combine with the metals to form metal sulfides. This heavy, dense metal sulfide liquid tends to sink in the lighter silica-rich magma into trap zones as accumulations. This process of accumulation would continue for thousands of years, extracting the metals from vast quantities of magma. The magma in the underground plumbing system cools and solidifies. The concentrated accumulations of metal sulfide crystallize within the trap zones, forming massive sulfide deposits rich in copper, nickel, and PGMs. These condensed metal sulfide deposits are the targets for today's exploration. Kavango has now proven that thousands of cubic kilometers of lava were extruded onto the surface of Southern Africa during the Karoo Age. Similar to what happened at Norelsk, the sulfur content of the magma at the KSZ was high enough to convert at least 50% of the nickel and all of the copper into metal sulfides. Kavango is now focused on identifying the trap zones. Most of the potential lies within 300 meters of the surface. Target trap zones are being identified from computer-generated 3D modeling. Geophysics will be used to identify mineralization within the trap zones. Drilling will then be carried out to test for mineralization.